Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today we are back in some more Stormworks, of course. And today I have a little bit of an interesting thing to go through. Um, we have something that I believe has dethroned the king right here. And um, what I mean by dethroned the king is um, I did a video about this boat, the blade right in front of me, um, RW3. I don't remember the entire name exactly, but it was the fastest boat, I'm pretty sure, in Stormworks at the time. And it has held that title for a little while now, actually, if you guys have been keeping up. And nothing has been able to come anything close to it. But but with the addition to the water jets to the game, it seems like them having so much power, someone was eventually going to come up with something that was going to dethrone the king here. And they have, and that's what I'm going to be jumping into today. And here is the boat in question, of course, in our um, building bay here, but I'm actually going to spawn it in. But this boat was designed and built by Geekness, um, a community member of Stormworks, and I believe they've done a very good job on this boat, because I did take it out a little bit earlier, and currently the RPS meter is running on the knots, not meters per second, so for a fair judgment here real quick, because I did go back and test out the blade there, and I believe it goes about 130 meters per second there, and that was the current record for it, but we can take the speed, and we're going to change what it says as well, so it's not going to be knots anymore, it's just going to be meters per second, and instead of running, we need to find the wire it is connected up to, and then trace that back to our linear speed sensor all the way up here one of these things is a linear speed sensor there we go and we direct drive that all the way there and i do want to make sure real quick that we have our linear speed sensor yeah it's perfectly fine so we can spawn it in now and it will give us that meter per second um time that we need and apparently i can't walk anymore in game for some reason or another all right we are on board and we do have I'm not exactly sure what propels this vehicle. I know we have two water jets on the back end and these sort of like fin things on the side. I'm not exactly sure. I have yet to actually of uh, like taken it apart or anything. Yeah, man. Give it a bit more throttle. Getting about to 50%. And yeah, we have those, I guess, outriggers on either side stabilizing us very well now. As well as it seems the fins on either side are helping us keep very stable. And we're getting a speed of a blistering 141, and that's at 50% power. So we've already beaten the record. We're pushing 185, 186. Ah, it doesn't seem like it's got much more in the tank, but that is leagues over... Well, I saw 190 there. I wonder if I didn't break anything, hopefully. Disengage active engine brake. Launch control? Apparently it'll be uh, drag racing in this thing one of these days. But, apparently... Solid horn. Solid horn, of course. I mean, it is much a much smaller vehicle than the Blade is, but of course, this thing hauls very fast. At 186 meters per second, that might be faster than Mach 1. Hold on, let me make sure of that. Sadly, we are not above Mach 1 here. I just looked it up on Google, and Mach 1 is 343 meters per second, per se. So, we need to be going almost twice the speed of how fast this vehicle is going already. But this is blisteringly fast and a leap ahead in, I guess, speed technology for Stormworks. But, I mean... It can carry three people, but there's nothing much else you can do for it. I mean, I have to commend Geekness on their design of it. It, it goes extremely fast, of course, but the Blade definitely has a lot more 
usability to it because it can haul things. Um, they both use the hydrofoil design, of course, but this thing seems extremely stable without any like fluttering from a PID controller. I mean, there's a little bit of bouncing, but one thing I really want to know now is what happens if we set it up against a tsunami, especially with the 64-bit physics. I think it's all box fly by there. Yeah, there's like boxes everywhere. I guess we're going so fast they spawn in periodically and they keep flying by. And I'm going to spawn in a tsunami and see how that goes. Alright, I'm trying to keep it in the same general area because we are moving so fast. I think we can easily outrun a tsunami. But it looks like it's right in front of us. So, here we go. Cowabunga. I assume we're going to go flying, but I could totally be... Um, I've broken it. As you can see, taking very expensive, very high-tech stuff into a wave probably wasn't a great idea. Um, uh, let, let's just shut it down for the second being. Let it, uh, settle. Okay, okay. We're alive. We're good. And we're moving. Oh. Hmm? Ah, I've broken it somehow, I know. As somebody out there probably knows more of what I've done with it. It's probably something to do with the um, height control of it and the water pressure or um, just the water itself from the tsunami messing it up. I assume that's how it goes so fast is some sort of PID system or something in a microprocessor. There's probably a lot of calculations going on to uh, keep this entire thing. Oh! Got it flying. It shut me up for two seconds there. But, uh... Uh, oh, flying again. It looks like a, uh, I don't even know. I was going to say a spider, but a spider has eight legs, of course. It's like a four-legged blue spider monkey thing. It doesn't have a tail, though, either. It's so weird getting tree. I do really want to do, like, a, um, a teardown of this boat or something. But, yeah, I do apologize. This is going to be a shorter video for today. I don't have as much time. Um, college classes and all, but yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to rescue myself to the dock here because I did flip it over. And we're going to have to cancel that tsunami again. All these tsunami charges. You know how expensive it is to uh, have the one company come out and put tsunamis down for me? It's astronomically expensive. So yeah, guys, that is all the time I do have today for this episode. We are getting, um, I don't remember the name of the boat. Uh, I'll figure it out later, but we are getting the boat back up to speed here at 186. Actually, I don't think... Yeah, we don't have the RPS punched now. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Disengage jet clutch. Okay, that just turns it off. Active engine brake. I don't know what that does either, but I do want to do a teardown of this boat and all of its mechanics and see what what its beating heart is, how they've gotten it to go so fast here. I know I've messed it up or something again. This is like dragging in the water again. I don't know, is the back end up there and the front end dipping down? Yeah, anyways, if you guys do want to see me tear this down and try to explain it, I don't know if I can exactly or not, uh, but if you guys do want to see that, um, leave a like on the video or um, comment down below. Uh, you can take guesses on like what kind of system. I'm assuming it has some sort of small jet in here that's providing power with a lot of gearboxes to two water jets, and then some sort of advanced PID system or something that keeps those fins and everything extremely stable for high speeds. Anyway, that's my running theory at the moment. Tell me guys what you think about it and what you think its beating heart is here. I mean, we kind of almost hear a jet here as well. But yeah, anyway guys, that is all the time I do have for the episode today. It's been pretty fun uh, checking out this latest boat. Hopefully we get some new and different fast contenders with those water jets. I want to try my hand at one as well. Maybe a hydrofoil jet design, water jet design that being. I've already done a hydrofoil jet before with electric engines. I think I did a stream on it. Anyway, 
Yeah, of course, if you guys like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great at goodbyes, so people need me, and I need to go.